Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'd like to talk about the earth and our health and how they relate. And a long time ago, I started to learn the truth for why I was sick and how I could reverse that sickness. And the truths were that I was not eating a very good diet and I was living an extreme and illogical lifestyle. And in the very beginning when I was really, really sick, I was really sensitive to everything that was toxic in my environment. And so when I'd go ride my bicycle down the street, it would just make me so sick to breathe the auto exhaust. And so I said to myself, as I had been since I was a little boy, that that stuff that's coming out the tailpipes of those cars, that's bad for my health. And then as I learned more about environmental illness in people's houses, as well as outdoors coming out of uh, plants, coal plants, etc., as well as the cars and, and all the things that people do personally to themselves like smoking and drinking and, and um, consuming foods that are full of preservatives and chemicals, etc., then I started to reduce all that radically. And then I started to see all the different things that people were doing that were really, really just stupid, for lack of a better word. Like, loud noises really got to me. Like, oh, fireworks, and it scared the dogs. Scared the dogs, and, and it was just an, an annoying thing on the 4th of July that I had to listen to every year, and still do. And other holidays like, like Christmas where people just spent money, spent money, spent money, you know, just on materialism to, to show that they loved someone, to prove they, I love you, so I'm going to give you these material things. Or, or Easter, you know, eggs all over the place and, and all these blow up things in people's yards and just, you know, the, the, the way that people are getting their rocks off, it just doesn't make sense to me. And, and people are going to understand more and more over time that the things that are simple in life are the things that aren't going to hurt their health. And that when they send their kid off to be in Pop Warner football, Little League football, and that that kid gets banged in the head over and over and over again, then eventually that head doesn't work well anymore. And that if kids just keep eating food that's prepared in a fast way, that doesn't cost very much, that is, geared towards mass-produced humans. A fuel that's geared towards mass-produced humans. Then what they get is a poor quality human. You get a mass-produced human creates a poor quality human. And so what I've learned is that what I wanted was to become somebody that did things uniquely and offered unique things to people that were of a better and higher quality. And so over the years I've created all these things that I saw on my website and you can't buy them anywhere else. And they're only for people that want to be of a higher quality. And so in order for people to achieve this, what they need to do is really prioritize their lives. And they need to throw out those things that just aren't very valuable anymore. 
Like, for instance, I got rid of television four years ago because I just couldn't find anything that was really worth watching anymore. It wasn't worth my time to watch television anymore. And now it's become not very valuable for my time to keep answering all of the comments that people leave on YouTube. Even though most of the comments are good, I still get quite a few really not very good comments. So, in advance, I'd like to say thank you to the people that are leaving good comments. I appreciate you. And, um, and then as far as the other people are concerned, um, they'll just have to think they're bad comments <laughs> and their thumbs down because I'm not allowing those now. But when you see all these various disasters, the earth is going to fight back because the earth and God, Mother Nature, whatever you want to call it, it's all one and the same. It's not going to allow the humans to get out of hand any more than it already has. In fact, in my opinion, it's gone too far. And God bless all those people on the coast that are thinking about rebuilding. But guess what? It's not going to work because there's just going to be more hurricanes and the new houses that they're going to rebuild are going to get blown away again. And... Those people that don't rebuild in a natural and more logical way, if they just do the same thing over and over again, then they're going to get the same results. And that's how it works with your diet and your lifestyle too. You have to change. And you may have to change gradually because you're weakened. You're very weak and you're in a deep, deep hole. And that's fine. Because even if you run out of time or you run out of energy to, to detox and cleanse your body, you'll get reborn again and, and you can start over. But bear in mind that you're not really going anywhere unless you at least make some change. And so you may need to just quit smoking or just quit drinking or just move away from some bad family members or from a bad area Maybe you just need to stop eating white flour food because you were convinced that Wonder Bread was a wonderful thing. <laughs> Maybe you were raised on a dairy farm and, and your family was absolutely positive that the products that they were selling, the milk that they were selling, was a quality thing for humanity and that you're still somewhat convinced that dairy is a human food. Well, it's not. <laughs> I can tell you that it's not natural to consume another animal's milk. And so you may need to just rethink a bunch of things. <clears throat> And all of humanity needs to rethink the way it treats the mother and to start changing. And you may need to just, maybe right now, you have just been needing and you've been thinking about changing towards con using regular cloth bags instead of plastic bags at the grocery store. Maybe it's just time, by God, that you start doing that. I've been doing it for over 15, maybe 20 years now, using cloth bags and going to the health food store and not the regular grocery store. And some of you may be thinking, well, I can't afford going to the, the health food store. Well, I was down sometimes to my last dollar five dollars or even going on food stamps but I still knew the importance of going to the health food store and so there aren't any excuses even if you go to the regular grocery store nowadays you can find some things that are organic so 
This is maybe just a little pep talk for y'all to start thinking about new and better ways. And those people that do make the effort will score brownie points with creation and with the earth. And you know, you know that there are no coincidences. And that when good things happen, miracles, it's because you've done something to deserve those miracles. And so that's partially why I make these videos because I'm trying to teach everyone to follow in the footsteps that I've created because I know they're good ones. And if, man, I was going to say if I had to go back, but you know, you can't go back. You can't go back and so you have to forget about the crap from the past and keep the things that you've learned. It's out with the bad and in with the good constantly until the day you die. And then that doesn't end still. So thanks for joining me and um, keep your head up in times of strife. Be well.